video, I want to show you how to paint an interior brick wall. In this tutorial, I am using a bucket filled with water and scrub brushes, a sponge, TSP, long nap roller covers, these are 3 quarters inches, a paint extension pole, a sealer and stain blocker, white paint, and either a shop vac or a broom will work. A paint liner and a paint tray, and possibly a paint brush if this is very deep right here. Safety equipment include rubber gloves and goggles. For the first step, get a broom or the shop vac and just do a brushing along the bricks. This is to remove any cobwebs or loose dust and dirt. Next step is time to clean the brick. So at this point, put on your goggles and your gloves. If you're using TSP, it says to mix half a cup of the TSP with two gallons of hot water. Now I'm going to begin scrubbing. So I'm going to remove the brush, let the water rinse out. I don't want it too soaked. And I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. This is so streaks don't form. If you start at the top, water will run down and create streaks and it'll be obvious once it dries. I'm going to first go side to side like this to get to the cracks right here on the horizontal plane. Then I'm going to switch and go vertical to make sure I get the vertical cracks. Be very careful not to flip the brush up or it'll spray you with the TSP which you do not want on your skin. Once the entire wall has been soaked and scrubbed, it's time to rinse this off. So this is where the bucket and the sponge will come in handy. So empty out all of the TSP and clean off the brushes and refill it with clean water. Rinsing is fairly straightforward. Just get a moderate amount of water from the sponge and just start at the bottom and just work your way up. We're going a few bricks, rinse it out in the clean water, and keep going all the way until you finish the entire wall. Here's the water after rinsing. As you can see, there's a lot more dirt than there appeared to be on the bricks. Once the bricks are all rinsed, you will need to let this completely dry. You can put a fan blowing on them to really speed it up. Once the brick is dry, you could repair any chips you may have. I'm just using some spackle just because it'll be quicker. You could probably use mortar or actually hot curing joint compound. To do this, I'm going to get off a big chunk and just push it in here. I'm actually going to wet it slightly so it'll stick. Now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll rough it up so it'll look like the rest of the brick. Now it's time to apply the sealer. So I'm going to open it up and mix it up first. For this first batch of paint, I'm going to put an excessive amount just because the roller will soak up a lot of it and then it'll be much lower. Now I'm going to really load up the roller. It needs to be completely saturated with paint. Once the roller is completely saturated with paint, I'm going to start at the top right here and just roll down like this. Once the roller starts making a noise like this, a really sticky type noise, that means you need to load up again because it's running out of paint. Now just continue to paint the entire rest of the wall. At this point you could lay masking paper and tape down. I'm going to lay the masking paper down just because I don't want to contaminate my roller with the debris on the floor. You could also do the same along the wall if you don't want to get paint on the wall next to it. In between uses you could keep the roller in a trash bag so it doesn't dry out. Now I'm going to show you how to get in between the bricks using a paintbrush. So heavily saturate it, then just quickly go in between the cracks like this. This is where a nice stiff Chinex brush comes in handy because it doesn't bend as much and you can get pretty much everywhere you need to quickly. For the edges you can use a paintbrush as well or you can use a small 4 inch roller. I'm going to use this since I already have paint on it. Here's your spackle after drying. To try to blend it in with the surrounding brick I'm just going to sand it down slightly so it's rough. To save some time, I'm not actually going to go through every single crack with a paintbrush. I'm going to try out my HVLP gun, and it should work so I don't have to get into all the nooks and crannies. I 
After applying one or more coats of the primer, the wall should look something like this. There should be a nice even coverage over the entire area. So now it's time to apply the top coat. The steps to apply the top coat are the exact same as applying the primer. Here's the wall after being painted. I picked a satin finish just so it'd be washable but not reflect light too much. You can see you don't know that it's sort of shiny until you get up close so that way all the imperfections don't show up. And that is how to paint a brick wall.